Third Party Channel here. I'm out on the uh, 2017 KTM 150 XCW. Um, these are just the first few moments on the bike. I rode it the other day with the boys, with my sons, but I didn't really ride it. If you know what I mean. So, I got uh, carburetor tuned and out on it really for the first time. And this thing is light. It's really, really light. Now, I'm just riding right by my house. Um, out in the sage rest field here. And obviously with it being just a, you know, a 152 stroke, better slow down here, this is a weird corner. With it being just a 152 stroke, you really have to stay on it. Um, and ride on the pipe, obviously, more than I do some of the other bikes that you see me on. I'll tell you what, for out here in, you know, these wider open spaces like I'm running tonight, I certainly miss the gearing on the uh, XCs, the KTM uh, XC line, as well as the uh, Sherco 300 SER that I've been riding recently has more of a wide ratio transmission. I mean, this is a wide ratio transmission, but what I'm talking about is this is lower first, second, and third gear um, than the other bikes that I've got right now at my disposal. And I really notice it. So far, so far the fork is is totally fine. It's look at that wheel floating up on me. I'm using some clutch there out of the corners. And getting that wheel to float up on me. Stomp down a gear, drop down, stick the foot out. Must be in second gear now. There's third. Anyway, what I was about, what I was trying to say, drop down to second again, hit that corner, grab third. I don't know what I was saying. Oh yeah, I was talking about gearing. The uh, XCWs have more of that like true, what people would call enduro gearing. Low first, low second gear. Um, and it's probably the biggest reason why I haven't been riding the W's um, as much. It's one of the reasons why I prefer the XC bikes over the W's is just that gearing. I like them to be a little bit higher geared. So, this bike though I think is going to be friggin' sweet in the mountain single track. And I've got a trip coming up. I'm heading up to Idaho, up into the Sawtooth mountain range here in a, just about a week. So I've been prepping for that, trying to get the bike ready. I put a skid plate on it, put a rear disc guard on it. Those are the only things. I'm also gonna put tubeless on it, on the tires, because tubeless is the best thing since sliced bread that you can do to your dirt bike. So, I'll put tubeless on the bike and then it'll be ready to go. This bike actually is running Electron carburetor. And the reason why is because I knew I needed to lean this sucker out. Um, it came so bloody rich. Uh, stock. And I looked at the jets that I had on hand and I didn't have anything 
being anywhere near what I'd need. Well, I had it near, but I didn't have the gesso I would need to lean this out to go up where we're going because we're going to be up at like 10, 11,000 feet with this bike next week. And I didn't have the needle or the main jet or the idle circuit jet that I'd need to lean out the stock McCutie carburetor. So, never fear. I had an electron carburetor sitting there from a test I did on it earlier this year uh, on the 300 XC. Had that carburetor sitting there, slapped it on. I asked uh, the guys at Electron what metering rod I should have in this bike. They said you'll need the 5-1 metering rod. So uh, I got the right metering rod from them, put it in the bike tonight, and here I am, giving it a whirl. Well, I can tell you right now that uh, riding a 150 up hills like the one that I'm on at the moment, steep, bloody, rocky hills, the 150 makes you earn it more than say like a like a 250 I'm talking two strokes my 250 two stroke and my 300 two strokes just eat these hills eat these hills for breakfast this bike uh, <laughs> makes you makes you earn it you're uh, staying on the art staying on the clutch to keep your rpms up which is totally to be expected. Check, I'm in second gear. And it's a low second because of that XCW gearing. Now I think you probably really want that XCW gearing on a bike like this that doesn't have a lot of a crap load of low end torque. But you can hear that motor, how strong it is. See, that's me giving a fistful of throttle there, and the motor responds. You know, it's not like bogging or dying. Motor's running really good. So, I mean, yeah, you just gotta be, you just gotta be on it more. You gotta let the bike eat it <laughs> a lot more than you do on a 252 stroke on, you know, this 150. So, fun bike. Don't have very much time on it yet. It's got the Explore 48 forks. Uh, WP Explore 48 millimeters. I think that's what that is. Um, I know it's the Explore fork. It's an open cartridge fork. And actually, because I had these same forks, I have these same forks on the Sherco, uh, the bike that well, by the time this video comes out, I, I will have given that Sherco 300 SCF or 300 SCR away. But so this has got the same fork as that bike, and I actually really liked it on the Sherco. I thought it performed really well. Um, like like the gearing a little bit better on the Sherco than I do on this. <coughs> but. Work is doing fine. 